I'm traveling on. Up the stairway. Are you come back to me? I'm traveling on. Up the stairway. No one knows that you hold the key. Well, I saw you last night with another. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Cafe here, should I get coffee? Yeah, get coffee. Come on. I'm traveling on the stairway. No no you hold it. See the hand? <laughs> well, you need to make sure you get a stay wet palette. Yeah, that's what I'm getting today. Yeah, okay, good. It's actually start wet, I think. What, whatever it is. I'm not an artist. Yeah, Sean, don't be scared about the price. Take it off of my bill. It's blue. What do we have done? You could put stickers or paint them. I want to try hot press because it'll be easier. This is watercolor paper. It'll be easier to have like detail with pencils. You know, it does feel different to paint on it in terms of the ink washes. It really like. Is different. Oh, I miss watercolor. I should do watercolor next year, maybe. And the tears so freely fell as a hill to tight, traveling on the stairway. No, we should wish it. Are you coming back to me? I know, but you've been running Hello everyone, I am going to go through all of the materials that I'm using for Peach Shiba. I'm just going to jump into it because I'm scared I'm going to be long-winded because I could talk about art materials for a long time. So we're going to start with papers. It's not the most interesting, but it's the foundation for all the pieces. So I've got a sketchbook. I've got my gridded paper. I've got this sketchbook that I got in Japan and my watercolor paper. So we're going to start with this. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's a German company. I pronounce it Lecterm, but I don't know if that's what it's called. This is, I love sketching in these. I don't know why. It's not like the paper's particularly thick or anything like that. I just like sketching in it. So these are my peach toba sketches. Let's just skip to the right page. So I'll start with like a brainstorm here for the prompt. And then if there's something that I like, which is these ones, I'll move on to this and create like a better composition. I use this because it's got gridded paper. Obviously I made this and I like it and it's good because it's like enough space. It's not a full sketchbook. It's easy to scan later and also easy to put on any light boxes if I have to. But then I'll do like a more refined thumbnail just to make sure that I've got the composition that I want and like all the de This is gonna be more detailed than these. This is like rough ideas slash rough composition this is more refined composition with more detail then i move on to this and these are like freehand sketches that i do for the final pieces this is basically refined composition and details and the actual size that i'm going to be doing it on the reason i use this is because i don't really care about this paper and it's easy to just do lots and lots without being stressed something that i'm doing a little bit different this year is i'm not light boxing off of my ipad i feel like when i do that my paintings end up really tight so I'm trying this method where I'm drawing it by hand for this piece for dandelion I like couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted I kept redoing stuff and like changing things slightly but it was kind of annoying like I couldn't get it but by the time I actually did like it I think I based it off of like this was the first one I did and then I did all of these and then I went back to this one. By the time I actually am drawing onto the watercolor paper I've really got a sense of like how to do it. That is my line work muse sketch drawing paper i got it in japan i'm pretty sure i just haven't used it which is why i'm using it for this i also want all of my peach toba pieces to fit within an a5 because i want to make like postcard prints at the end of peach toba and then the last thing the creme de la creme is my arches watercolor paper arches is super expensive unfortunately it became my watercolor paper of choice maybe 10 years ago i don't know i just fell in love with it and the prices continue to rise so i'm like kind of in like the arches chokehold kind of sucks but like i just can't change I don't know why anyway so I'll always choose a minimum of 300 GSM but that's just the weight of paper the heavier you go like the thicker the paper generally and this year for peach toba I'm using hot press paper I don't usually use hot press because I do like the grain on cold pressed and I like how much thicker 
cold press feels but I wanted to try this because I've been using a lot of pencil detailing in my work when you use cold press paper the roughness kind of doesn't make the lines very accurate because it's so bumpy so I'm trying hot press I really like it so far so yeah this is what I'm using I wish I was using 600 GSM but I also like it in this pad for peach show because it's easy to cut down to size so yes paper done next what should we do brushes and vessels maybe so I always make sure I've got a good selection of size and shapes of brushes and like a good selection of shapes is really just some round brushes and some flat brushes. That's really what I like. Please ignore how dirty this is. Got some new ones for Peach Toba, got using some old ones as well. Yeah, like this one, which is cracking everywhere. So round brushes are my favorite because I think they hold the paint nicely, like a nice amount of paint. You don't have to keep reapplying. Like that annoys me when I have to reapply a lot but also there's a good variation of like a uh, line weight. You can use pressure to do really thick lines or apply less pressure and do like really thin lines. Then let's talk about vessels. So these are just some simple water vessels. This one is where I put my brushes. I just like it because it makes me a little bit happy. I made this in like a previous video with like the Emmy Ceramics clay set. This is by Melody, so Emmy Ceramics. Rocket got me a bunch of pottery from Melody. And this is one of the pieces that he got, which I love and I, I've never stopped using it since because first of all, there's a brush rest, which is nice, nice little detail, but I don't really use that. I just kind of like do this, which is not good because it bends the brushes. But also this, this clay is quite rough. So it's really good for cleaning brushes. I love this. And then I'll just use another jar because I always like to have two waters. I like one where I rinse the brush first, dry, and then another where I use this for like the paint water. But yes, vessels, brushes, let's see what these are. I'm really not loyal to a brush brand. I'd really just go for the feel. With When I'm using acrylic gouache, I'm looking for something a little bit firmer than a watercolor brush. But I do like soft brushes as well. Like I don't like those really like thick hog hair brushes. So most of these I think are a synthetic. These are some cheap Reeves ones, which I got because I know that I kind of destroy my brushes when I use gouache. Like really for me, it's the shape and the feel. So I'm not loyal to a brush brand. I do like silver though. Okay, that's that. I've got a lot of ceramic palettes like this and some ones by Melody, but this year I'm only using my ceramic palettes for my acrylic ink. I'm using this Star Wet palette by Masterson. I basically started using this because I saw a few artists that I like, like I think Rebecca Green uses a Star Wet palette and I'm not sure who else, but I saw someone else using one. And basically it's really, really beneficial for things like acrylic gouache that you can't reactivate after it's dry because it keeps the paint wet for longer. There's paint in here that I put on my palette like a few days ago and it's still wet. This is a breakthrough for me. Something that I hate about acrylic gouache is I need to remix it. Last year when I first, when I first used acrylic gouache, I had to remix colors for every single painting. This means that there's still wet gouache here that I can use in my paint so that the color palettes are more consistent. I don't have to remix every time. Got like a wet sponge underneath it and then whatever this paper is that you soak for 15 minutes and then you put them both in and it should keep your paint wet for a few days. Usually acrylic gouache dries within like like an hour or less. So it's like really, really good because you can't reactivate acrylic based paints or at least from my experience like ink and uh, gouache but yes love it so far it's the first time I'm using it so you can close it up so that it's airtight and and keeps wet overnight so if you're working on paintings overnight which I'm not it's really really handy and then this is just like a typical flower palette I just use it for ink because it doesn't soak into the palette because it's got like a shiny finish next we're going to do paints oh I guess I could do tape I also use washi tape to hold the piece down however I'm actually considering whether I should go get some artist tape because washi tape kind of comes off and it's very frustrating that's just something I'm considering it's not necessarily what I'm doing because I got this in Japan yay but anyway tape paint rag sorry about this this is silicon I um there's a video that I made with Natasha of sad shrimps where we made like silicon I don't know if it's silicon actually, but whatever it is, it's like a something like that where we made like the Japanese fake food. We made that, but I used this to wash up and I kind of regret it because it's all over my paint rag. I hate that. I have to wash it, but I love having the same rag because I kind of see like all the colors I've used. I think it's very cute. So this and paper towels um, for cleaning up and also cleaning your brushes in between colors. Paints. We got acrylic gouache. I have become a fan of acrylic gouache since last peach show, but when I tried it for a proper try and acrylic ink, these are what I'm using for the actual paints. I mean, like, do we do the pencils now? I guess we can. So here's the meat of the paintings. So we have acrylic gouache, 
These are by Liquitex. I really like the way that you apply the paint. It's really, really easy to squeeze out. Although I did have an accident, as you can see with these paints. Like um, I left the lid open and I pulled this thinking this was out, but it pulled the whole lid off and I went to pour it and it went everywhere. That was a nightmare. Obviously I scooped as much as I could back into it, but it means that everything's stained with this like viridian hue. So I've got a bunch of Liquitex ones. I like how big they are. And then a bunch of my acrylic gouache. These I only had white before. So I'm using these for the first time. I love the applicator. I think I like the formula for these better, but I mean, like, they're pretty similar. Got an array of colors. I think I have some more Holbein coming, but I just got Liquitex in the meantime, so I had, like, enough for the month. Then I've got my acrylic ink by Liquitex. Because I love how pigmented these are, I tried these for the first time, and they are very pigmented. Then I've got my Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. I split them up into warm and cool. I'm trying to limit as the amount of pencils that I put out because I don't want all of the work to be crazy. Like, I don't want to have access to all the colors, otherwise I might use them. I'm trying to have a more limited palette this peach toba but yeah these are all the things do i have anything else like if we're going crazy i've also been using this as like a guide for like circles and curved edges but this isn't like a necessity this is just i like to use it for fun this is by an artist called ghost patrol slash david booth i actually have one of his paintings you may have seen that in my house it's useful people often ask about this which is why i'm including it but yeah i think that's everything i, I recommend all of these materials obviously not spawn I have to get back to doing my peach but I've only done two paintings. It's like the end of the month. I want to be three ahead at least. So I've got to get cracking. I'm so pumped. It's going to make us relax. It's like signifying how we feel about the house. Chris, do you think it'll hold it? I'm scared. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. That feels pretty good at that. Yay. I think it looks lovely. It feels good. Yeah. Now we have time. Time to make this space about your So what do you think, sweetheart? This is how it is, ready? It's coming yeah. forward. Don't. Because I'm always going to be working on the side. Why? But we need. Why am I going in reverse and not just show me like that? <laughs> if it was against the wall, I'd be sitting here. There's so much room for lights and stuff. That's why. We need to light it from the left side because otherwise my hand makes a shadow. Do you really want to film against the wall? I'm not filming against the wall, my love. But why do you think I want to get to the wall? Because you're worried about shadows. Okay, you show me how you do it and I'll say yes or no. I think I'm pros would do it. I would move that directly just this way. Then we can block out all this light. If we do it this way, we don't have to block out all the light that comes through. Let's do it your way. No, I'm not that gonna, I want to say, that sounds I want to find you a professional idiot. I would say here because we can control anything. That's fine. It gives us space to control things. When you're butted up against a wall, you now only have direction for light on one side. And do we want to do it like this? Or like this? We just want to do it like that. Really? That's yeah. not what I thought at all. I'm heading here! What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> You're going to paint here? No! I'm going to do this. And I'm going to paint here. Okay, we can do that. No! So you're saying you want me to have it like that, and I just sit there. No, sit there. There? But you cannot. I can't explain it without drawing it. I'm traveling on the stairway, no way, no that you hold the key. Well, I saw you last night with another and the tears so freely fell as I held her tight. Traveling on the stairway, no way, wish wish you'd come back to me. Okay, life is good. Peachtober is about to begin for you. For me, it's not already begun because I'm living in the past. I'm living before you see this. But I've started my Peachtober pieces and I love them. I'm so excited. I'm singing. <laughs> I just want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video as per usual. Squarespace is rad. I love Squarespace. Rocket loves Squarespace. 
everybody loves Squarespace. And for good reason, because one, easy to use. Two, beautiful. Three, amazing. Four, best in the bunch. <laughs> I use Squarespace to power my website. I use their themes, easy to design. All I literally have done to design my website is change the colors of different fonts, change some settings of the way buttons look, and then organize spacing and stuff. Like that's really the extent of it. This is all in one tab and I'm like, click, 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 click. These are my design things. I'm like, that's great. It literally took me no time at all. And I haven't changed it since besides uploading new content. I think the beauty of a lot of Squarespace sites is that they are complex enough to look elevated, but understated enough so that your work stands out and really like shines. If you haven't tried Squarespace and you want to, go to squarespace.com slash very little peach, you get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Thank you, Squarespace. Woo! <laughs> I hope you liked the country music in this video. It didn't come from this record because I can't play copyrighted music, but it was grand. Guys, can I have your permission? I want to put my crazy music. There's this one song. If you give me permission now, I'll put it in my next vlog. It goes like this. Oh, I want a crazy kind of love because I have, but I feel like it's too grating and too annoying. And I just know I'll get comments that are like, the music sucks because I have that sometimes. I have to refrain from putting my what I actually really want because I know that the masses will be like, this sucks. But this one song I really want to use and I don't know if it's still available that I can use it. But if you give me permission now to use this song, I'll put it in my next vlog. But it is a bit crazy. Comment below if I have your permission to use that song in my next vlog. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>